The UX90 and UX180 cameras make use of a system called Scene Files, which allows the camera to store a number of pre-programmed looks in the camera that are able to be accessed at the press of a button. All you have to do when you touch the LCD screen, you'll see six buttons appear at the top of the screen. Scene 1, Scene 2, Scene 3, 4, 5, and 6. You can swap among them just by pressing one of those buttons. So really, when we talk about, you know, uh, the the out-of-the-box look of the camera, there's at least six out-of-the-box looks because you have six pre-programmed scene files ready to go as soon as you turn the camera on. What are these scene files? Well, the camera defaults are that scene file number one, or SCN1, is a standard high-definition look, not really stylized, it's just regular Rec. 709 HD. Scene file two is very similar. It's almost the same, but it has a different color matrix. You can see that it gives you fuller skin tones. It's designed to be used when you're shooting under fluorescent lights to combat the green spike that some fluorescent lights have. But the easiest thing to see is that you'll see that the skin tones on especially Caucasian skin is, is redder and fuller than it is in scene file one. Scene file three is called Sparkle, or in past cameras it's been called Sparkle. And the idea behind scene file three is that if you're shooting something that you want it to look magical or a little bit over the top, scene file three has higher color saturation, it has sharper detail, and Panasonic's recommendation is that, you know, if you're shooting something like a wedding, maybe this is a scene file you want to use. You don't have to, of course, you can use any scene file you want, whatever you like, whatever looks good the way you want it to look, you can use that, but that's their recommendation. Scene file four is designed to match a stills camera, or not specifically to match it, but at least to make it look similar to how a stills camera would have shot the scene, and specifically cameras like the Panasonic GH4. So if you're trying to match what a GH4 would do, then go to scene file four and that will get you a good close way there. Scene file five is called Cine V, and it's designed for making footage that you can output directly to a TV that will have a filmic style look to it. It has a filmic gamma curve, but it has a lot of contrast to it. Real rich, strong contrast. So the, the darks are very dark, deep, rich blacks, and the, the brighter tones go really white, and there's a lot of contrast in between them. By comparison, Scene file six, Cine D, is a filmic look that is designed to be graded in post. It's not really necessarily ready for viewing on a monitor right away, but it gives you a wider, flatter contrast curve, a, a wider range between the darkest dark and the, and the lightest light, so that you have more room to manipulate it in post. Now, you're not limited to these 16 files. These are just the defaults that come in the camera. The scene file menu lets you manipulate these scene files and change the looks and the color and the gamma and the contrast and, and sensitivity, the response, in so many ways. It's really very advanced. In order to take advantage of that, I, obviously we, we don't have time in this video to really go into that, but if you download the free book, the guide to the UX90 and UX180 cameras that I wrote, Panasonic makes available to you for a free download, and there's an entire chapter on the scene file parameters and how you use them and what each one does. Once you get a scene file that you like, you can save those scene files onto an SD memory card, transfer them to another camera, and load them in on that other camera, and that way you can easily make two cameras match, or you can download scene files. Panasonic has made available a package of 18 scene files that I developed for the UX90, and another 18 that I developed for the UX180. And these scene files have a lot of different pre-programmed looks in them. I've got scene files in there for matching the Panasonic GH4, all six profiles that it comes with. I have a scene file for each of those for the UX90 and the UX180. We have scene files in there that it can match a Panasonic PX270 or maybe uh, a typical DSLR or stylized looks like for a very hot look or a very cool look or, or a stark dramatic look. So there are 18 different scene files there plus the six that come in the camera, you can have on hand 24 different looks that you can access easily off the SD card and then by pressing the buttons on the screen to switch among them. So between the built-in scene files, the downloadable scene files, that gives you a wide variety to use of, of preset looks and then you can use those as is or you can use them as a starting point to develop your own scene files. If you get a hold of the book and, and learn what the parameters do, you can paint these cameras to make incredibly different looking footage all from the same camera. Hope you found this helpful. 
Thanks for watching and be sure to check out the rest of the videos in this series for even more tips and tricks on the UX 180 and UX 90 camcorders. Panasonic.